that's what it's like when you live on rock roads. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're here getting Travis's bike. We're at the farm getting Travis's bike ready. That's Travis. That's oh. Travis's toolbox. Um, we're gonna put some lights on from him to him, him to beat to them to. We went through this last time. I don't remember what it is. Yeah, we're gonna put them on. We don't know how to do it yet. Then there are no instructions, so we're gonna figure it out. <laughs> there we go. All right. So to wire this, it's a simple. This is the factory plug. This is the factory plug. Unplug it and plug these in line pretty simple and then you got these hanging out and then we'll we'll take care of all this oh that's kind of a little 3m deal maybe we can pop that on <laughs> yeah we'll figure that out so these are the lights there's a right and there's a left obviously if you mess it up uh you're gonna be blinking the wrong direction because these oscillate also so i'm assuming it goes this way and then these will slide on here like oh look at that buddy we ran this one more of a test type of a deal, um, but we have the wires run up along the bag, and then they clip in. There's the light. Travis lives on a dirt road, so don't judge him. You know, the ease of putting these on is amazing. And what did he do here? Not right here. How cool is that? <laughs> They're bright. They are bright. That's good. Very cool. So the only argument that I have about these lights is that you gotta take the seat off to unplug them. And you know, like I said, with all the other stuff that we've got for him to beat you, if a guy buys a bike and wants to do all this to it, but he can't afford the really expensive ones, you can buy these and then slowly get the expensive ones if you really want them or just keep these. Because you can buy a lot of these for the price that the expensive ones are. So yeah, I'm a fan. <laughs>